Welcome to NetSuite for Government. In this video, we'll explore the approval workflows within the Procure to Pay process, demonstrating examples of purchase order approval paths. In our approval process, NetSuite has a user-friendly workflow design that applies to individual transactions and records and provides for multiple approval paths within the workflow. We'll first look at an example of a simple purchase order approval workflow. Each workflow is graphically represented so it's easy to follow. Here, in this example, it begins with the initiation, moves to pending approval with a rejection and an approval path. Next, we'll look at a more complex example. This is a purchase order workflow. We can see this is far more complex with multiple interactions and options to reach approval level. We have the initiation and then it branches off with the option of emergency approval, depending on the conditions you create. Alternately, it will route through the purchasing department. For customers who do not have centralized purchasing, with a simple edit, we can have it go directly to the department manager. Each individual line is considered a transition and each transition allows additional criteria. In this example, transactions that require an approval will route from the department manager to the department director. The condition in this case is defined as being greater than $5,000. If the PO is greater than $10,000, it will route to the finance director. As we can see, each individual transition point must meet a condition and requires an approver. The transaction will be set to approve when all conditions on the path are met. These are just a couple examples of purchasing workflows, which can be as simple or as complex as required. 